exercise, our bodies get stronger and more flexible. And we know that having a well-conditioned body helps fight off various diseases. But what about memory? Is there a way to similarly exercise our memory and make it better? And if so, will these benefits last as we get older, so that we can better resist age-related mental diseases like dementia? This is something that researcher Jessica K. Jungberg wants to find out. We know the brain is constantly changing. But in what way can we ourselves affect this? Jessica is focusing her research on people who use two languages in their daily lives. How is this affecting their memory? To constantly be switching between different vocabularies changing languages back and forth in an instant without mixing them up. We would like to see whether people who speak two or more languages, bilinguals, uh, can train their brains, their working memory. And if they can, uh, they might actually have a better life when they get older. Today, Jessica works as a research scientist at Umeå University. But this was anything but an obvious choice for her. Her upbringing was far away from here, in the small village of Funesdalen, near the Norwegian border. No one in Jessica's family has ever studied at university before, but it is clear early on that Jessica is both curious and loves challenges. For example, when a dance teacher moves to town, Jessica studies dance. And when a fencing teacher moves in, she learns fencing. I think I always felt like uh, you can be whatever you like, and that the sky is the limit. After high school, Jessica takes the big step and begins studying at university, and the subject of psychology catches her attention. I always find people's uh, behavior very interesting. I like to watch how people communicate and people's behavior in general. After studying in both Sweden and Great Britain, Jessica finally landed at Umeå University. And today, she leads a major study on the part of memory called working memory. We use working memory when we need to keep something in mind for a short period, like a telephone number. Working memory is also used when we multitask, doing several things at one time and quickly switching between them. To be able to focus entirely on the task which is most important at that moment and block out the other. Like switching between two different jobs. Or using two different languages. When bilinguals are changing their attention between two languages, you can think like they are stored in two libraries. So they are shifting their attention uh, while they're doing that, they also have to inhibit words to come out that are, that are not relevant for the spoken language. When they do these processes, they actually train uh, a certain memory. Hey! Hey! Welcome! Hey. Is there now a right participant? Yes, yeah, okay. that's great. Yeah, hey. hey, Jessica. Jessica's team has begun a series of experiments in order to find out more about the relationship between bilingualism and working memory. The researchers collaborate with the Finnish Speaking Association in Umeå, and they let some of the members take part in different memory tests. Let's see. Here we have all our labs. We have put together a battery of tests to study the switching abilities and the ability to block out irrelevant information. One of these tests is called Stroop Task. Here, the person has to give the color of the word as quickly as possible. The tricky part is not to read the word but only look at the color. We expect that the bilingual participants would be better at the Stroop task in terms of having higher accuracy and be faster on the response times. These volunteers are people who use their bilingualism over their entire lives. 
Previously, Jessica studied a group of people who only used two languages in their working lives. And when they stopped working, they lost their memory advantage as well. We believe that the brain is similar to a muscle. So as long as you practice your second language, you will enhance your strength. But when you start living an inactive life, you lose it. This is one of the things Jessica is now trying to figure out with the new experiments. Because these Finnish-speaking people in Umeå will continue using both languages even after their retirement. We already know from previous studies that a well-trained brain has a better chance against dementia. But Jessica believes her research will show that this only applies when a brain is active throughout its lifespan. It must continually be trained and challenged. This is something that fits well with Jessica's own life philosophy. I think I always like challenges and to learn new things. So I just decide that I want to learn this thing and then I do it. As a child, it was fencing and dance that piqued her curiosity. But right now, it's ice hockey. A sport that Jessica has never played before, but now has gotten her colleagues involved in playing lunch hockey with her once a week. I think I wanted to learn hockey because I'm rather crap at it. And I like challenges, so I thought I just have to train really hard to be good at this. And training is equally important for the brain. Jessica believes that in the future, this new knowledge of how memory functions will reveal to us just how important it is to keep our brains in shape. I believe that when you get older, if you, if you want to have good health, a good healthy brain and a healthy body, you just have to continue challenging yourself and keep on living an active life.